Today, we're going to create fake access points on an ESP8266 with MicroPython on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. There are a lot of advantages to creating a fake network for a hacker. Now, one I enjoy personally is that it forces nearby devices to use their real MAC address if you happen to hit upon a network that's stored in their preferred network list. Now, there are a lot of tools out there for creating fake access points. In particular, my friend Spacehoon has created one called the Beacon Spammer that is based in Arduino and allows you to create up to 100 fake networks, actually, I think it's up to 1,000 fake networks, all spammed out constantly using different MAC addresses. And we even push it to be able to create ones that have a password and able to trick phones that have an encrypted network stored inside them. Now, today, I'm going to create a very rudimentary version in MicroPython. But the advantage is that even a beginner can get started in a couple lines of code, and it works against both encrypted and unencrypted networks stored in people's phones. Now, if you get confused, you can check out the Null White article linked in the description. And also, if you need to pick up one of these ESP8266 modules, they're really cheap, and you can find one in the description in the Null White article. Once you have an ESP8266 and Python 3 installed on your computer, then we can begin. Now, today, we're going to get started with a very basic guide to setting up a fake access point on the ESP8266. And we're not going to try for anything fancy, but in general, there are a number of ways to do this. And I'm going to be using Jupyter Notebook, but you could use, also use a solution like Adafruit Amphi to upload Python files as well. Now, if you want to learn how to do this, I also highly recommend this Towards Data Science article written by Marcelo that goes over getting MicroPython running on Jupyter Notebook. Because I'm not going to go through it too much on this particular guide since I've already covered it, but uh, Marcelo lays things out in a really easy to understand way. So if you want to get set up, then we're going to be using the network configuration module in MicroPython to create and break down fake access points over and over and over so we can create a whole bunch of them. Now, this project is inspired by my friend's project, uh, the Beacon Spammer, which allowed me to identify different networks stored in people's devices using some Arduino code that created a whole bunch of fake networks over and over and over up to 8,000, which is pretty remarkable and led to some really interesting insights. Now, for example, a hacker could use this to find a bunch of different networks that were likely for devices nearby to connect to, and then create the best possible fake network in order for uh, taking over people's devices, phishing, really whatever they want to do. Now, this is kind of a poor approximation because it's actually creating a real network, so it can only operate so quickly. However, we are able to have pretty size control right out of the box without needing to do a whole bunch of Arduino code. And you can see here we have control over the MAC address, the name of the network, the channel that it's operating on, whether it's hidden, and we even have the ability to set, for some reason, access uh, authentication modes like WEP, which isn't supported on Arduino IDE, and is really interesting uh, to see if it will actually run. So what this means is we have pretty precise control over the networks we're creating, and we don't need to do all of the hacking that needs to be done in order to just send raw packets and then pretend that there's a network there without actually popping one up. So while there are definitely some timing restrictions here for how quickly we can pop up networks, we're going to measure in Wireshark to see exactly how quickly we can do this and go ahead and pop things up quickly. So first, we need to go into a terminal window, and we're going to use in Mac OS the command that will show us everything connected to our serial port. When I run this, we can see that there are two different results. And on Mac OS, at least, we need to use the one that starts with a W because the USB serial one, for some reason, just doesn't seem to work. So when we have this, there's two different commands that we'll need to run. The first one is the erase flash command, and we'll be using the ESP tool in order to do that which you can install with a simple pip install command. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this with the copy and pasted serial address and make sure you ensure that this is accurate because it changes often. If you unplug it for a second and plug it back in, for example, and when I run this, we should erase any Arduino or MicroPython program that's running. And you may find yourself needing to do this if you accidentally include a program that has a while true loop that makes it so that it's difficult to access. So we've gone ahead and erased this. Now I'm going to take the MicroPython binary. And the purpose of this is to put a binary on here that recognizes MicroPython so we can upload our code or just interact with it via a Jupyter Notebook window, which is what we intend to do. 
So I'm gonna here paste in the serial port. It'll flash the uh, downloaded binary file. And then as soon as it's done, we can create a Jupyter Notebook window and access a sketch I made earlier that is just a very simple way of popping up a list of fake networks. Okay, that's it. So we've now flashed MicroPython. We're gonna go to Jupyter Notebooks. And here we are. So we're gonna look for MicroPython Wi-Fi tests. And this is really, really simple. First, we'll need to take our serial port and paste it in here so that our command is serial two, and then the port, and then the baud rate, which is 115200. 11, and we should see ready back if it successfully connects. All right, so we've already managed to put MicroPython on our ESP8266 and connected to it in Jupyter Notebook. So this is already pretty simple to get up and running and be able to run a command that then pops up a Wi-Fi network depending on what we want to see. And in this case, we've defined a list, which is called SSID list, that's Google Starbucks, Fuddruckers Wi-Fi, Bepis Wireless, ca uh, Cable Wi-Fi, and TWC Wi-Fi. Now, this is a pretty simple thing I've done. I've created a function where when we pass in the name of a network, it will create a station, it will set it to true, it then sets the ESSID or the network name to the SSID that we've specified, and then it sets the authentication mode, in this case, to zero, which is open, and the channel to one. So it's only broadcasting on channel one. Now I've created an SSID list of different fake networks, and we can make this as large or as short as we want. And then I've created a loop that just says while true, which is forever, for I in range of starting at zero, because that's when a list start at zero, all the way to the end of the list, so just the length of whatever this list. So you could put in 100, you could put in one, but it'll be from zero to the length of the list. So if there's one element, it'll be from zero to one. And if there's 100, it'll be from zero to 100. So then it'll run new connect, it'll uh, go ahead and pass in the current element in the list. So each time we go through, I is first one, then it's two, then it's three, and so on, all the way through however many there are. So we'll pass that through to our uh, new connect command, which is right up here. And that will run each one of our names that we define up here through that loop over and over and over with a 0.5 delay. So what that looks like is an infinite loop that is going through our individual fake names and creating a fake network for each one. And then after 0.5 seconds, it moves on to the next. So I'm gonna also open Wireshark and observe the traffic to see if I can reliably detect that this MicroPython is operating. And I even created a specific filter for this. So I will go ahead and look for only networks where the SSID broadcasted is Google Starbucks, Fuddruckers Wi-Fi, Bepis Wireless, Cable Wi-Fi, or TWC Wi-Fi. So as you can see, there's nothing broadcasting right now, but there's also a problem. I'm probably on the wrong network. So in macOS, it's pretty annoying to solve this, but I'm going to first turn off my Wi-Fi. I'm going to go over into terminal, run this very long command, a couple of times, and then check back in Wireshark and see if I'm actually on the right channel. And it looks like, got to turn Wi-Fi back on. And now we're capturing on just channel one, which is way more complicated on, than on Linux or any other platform, but that's what it takes to get started. All right. So now we have a filter that says we only want to see packets that have one of these names. And we're going to go back over to our Jupyter Notebook window, and we're going to run this and see if we can get these packets to come out of our little microcontroller and lure nearby devices into trying to connect. So let's run it and see what happens. All right, so we're getting successful loops, loops happening every 0.5 seconds. We go over to, oops, we go over to Wireshark. We now see that there is a bunch of different activities happening that is some of it coming from our microcontroller, but others that are directed towards it. And what that means is that there are some nearby devices that recognize one of these names and are trying to connect. 
Now we can go into tools, uh, WLAN traffic under wireless and see all the relationships between different devices. And that should give us an understanding of which of these fake networks are attracting the most attention. And I'm not gonna slice through it now, but you can see here that we have a bunch of different networks where when I click on them and go down to the information contained in the beacon frame, the SSID parameter is Fuddruckers Wi-Fi, which matches our code that we wrote here. So I'm gonna stop this, and then just to prove this is working, let's just make one. We're gonna make one single fake Wi-Fi, null byte Wi-Fi. We're gonna run it, and then let's see if we can detect this network in Wireshark. There we go. Almost instantly, we are creating a fake network that says null byte Wi-Fi. So this is just a very brief introduction to how to get started manipulating Wi-Fi networks in MicroPython. The ability to do so in a browser is super nifty, so you should definitely check out how to do this in Jupyter Notebook. But in general, if you want to start creating fake networks that reveal nearby devices real MAC address, then it doesn't take much than a couple lines of MicroPython code. Now, there are obviously some limitations to the fake networks we're creating with MicroPython. For example, we're actually popping up real networks, unlike Spacehoon's beacon spammer, meaning instead of just spending a bunch of packets that suggest there's a network there, we're actually creating real ones. And that limits the amount of speed we can use to create a lot of them. Now, if we wanted to make this even more evil, we could pop up a phishing page or even try to get people to submit credentials to get access to free public Wi-Fi that doesn't exist. But for the scope of this tutorial, we just want to show you how easy it is to get started messing with Wi-Fi using MicroPython. Now, if you don't have one, you can check out the link in the description. And also, if you need any troubleshooting, you can go to Nullbyte and see a lot more details there. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future episodes, Hit me up on Twitter at Cody Kinsey, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.